what's right in front of you. Whatever is holding you back is always right in front of you. There's no need to go off somewhere to try to find blocks. There are no blocks. There are only beliefs that you hold, what A Course in Miracles would refer to as perspective. Perspectives never have anything to do with the truth. They're simply what you believe. And so, as you believe, so shall you experience. As you sow, so shall you reap. So what do we do to change our beliefs? Well, first, we have to look at them. And there's no need to go hunting around for them. Whatever you believe is what you're looking at in your experience right now. Here's an example. I recently made several choices to get into more precise alignment with what I am here to do in service to a higher power. I know that whenever I commit to that and fully put all my focus and energy into it, life is truly a living joy all the way through. I realized the reason I was born, why I had so much training in specific areas of color, channeling, and energy work that I am meant to bring in the global energetic downloads that have been part of my work for more than 10 years. So I made some decisions to support that alignment, to stop promoting coaching programs as the main focus of Spirit Source Connect to restart and revitalize the regular delivery of the global energetic downloads to make them a regular event once a month, to put new systems in place to streamline the experience for new listeners. But here's what happened. Instead of feeling freer and lighter and more aligned, I found myself in a constant quagmire of technological tasks that were clearly unsatisfying. Now, I could have given up or changed my mind at this point about what I would be doing with my work from now on. You know, it's been quite a lot of fun in the last year and a half to be traveling and experiencing so many new worlds. But that's not what I'm here for, truly. Traveling served the purpose of getting me here in a CC where the spiritual energies are so high and inviting. Now it's time to focus on my work so that I can fulfill the life purpose of delivering these new energies to humanity. I'm really clear on that. This means reaching more people and going bigger than what I have set up so far to serve individuals. But how can I when I'm stuck in constantly managing the technology that's necessary for growing more expansively? The problem isn't the technology. The problem is the belief system that I have been holding that I am the only one who has to do all of these things. So you see, whatever is holding me back is staring me right in the face. And the same goes for you, for whatever situation you have going on right now. Christ promises us in A Course in Miracles that we don't have to work so much. We simply need to be following instruction, inner guidance, on what steps are needed next and all will be taken care of. The solution for me is hiring things out. But my belief said, I'm the only one who can do things right. And I really needed to look at that and change my mind if I am going to be relieved from, quote, what isn't working right now and get into living and doing my true life's purpose. So here's the summary. Where do you want to go and what do you want to be, do, or have? Have you put effort into that alignment? What happened when you got there? What problem or problems arose? Now look to see if this is based in a belief system you might have and how you might change it. Consider my own situation. What if I could believe that I can be supported in this work and fulfill a life purpose that supports a larger divine plan to lift humanity? Here's how I get to change my mind. And I wrote these three points down as affirmations. First one. I get to be supported beautifully while I create this new work for spirit and the world. Number two, I am divinely guided to find the exact support for this work. Three, 
I am open to receiving excellent support for this work from people who know even better than I do how to handle all the technology involved. There you go. Those are my three affirmations for this week. Those sentences became my new affirmations. What happened next was truly remarkable. The next Global Energetic Download had the exact same energy, guidance, and transformational download that completely supported the shift needed to change my perspective even further. I hope you're receiving something from this post and can use it towards your own dreams, your own desires and yearnings. It's meant for that. Please leave me a few comments if you think it's helpful. In the meantime, are you curious to know about that new energetic download that was delivered? It's called Cleansing the Mind, and it did exactly what was needed to lift my perspective into a higher truth. Are you ready for that too? The experience of this energetic download is both loving and kind and yet powerfully effective in cleansing the mind. What you will receive, should you open yourself to do so, is deep, transformative, and powerful. All of our resistances are held in the mind. When they are erased or removed, we can receive so much more beautifully, new ideas and solutions, and all of a sudden feel joy and rejuvenation. Also residing in the deep recesses of our mind is the emotional body. During the latter part of the download, our emotional body is cleansed as well, leaving us free from old anger and hurts. And more importantly, all resentments become erased. When the mind is cleared of these emotional weights, we become free to create, free to share our love more, and free to live in a state of joy. You can click the link in the description of the podcast here to learn more about the most recent global energetic download called Cleansing the Mind. Much love and many blessings.